Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm working on installing dampeners on my Ender 5 Plus, uh, hoping to reduce vibrations. Let's go ahead and get started. So I purchased these cheap dampeners, and I'm going to put them on all my stepper motors. I'm just going to do the X and Y, so I only need two of these, and then I'll probably use the rest of my other printers. But for right now, I'm just going to do the X and Y on the Ender 5 Plus. Okay, so the Y motor is this motor here, and the X motor is over here. So I'm going to start off by working on the Y motor. Um, so we'll get this all set up and uh, see what that looks like. So in order to do this, I'm going to start off by loosening these screws here. Let's loosen these. And that gives me a little bit of space. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch which screws I'm messing with. Next, I'm going to loosen the screws down on this end. Oops, I need a smaller head here. I'm going to loosen this so I can slip this. You can slip that down. Over. Okay. Now I need to just do same on the other side. So now I'm going to go ahead and loosen the screws over here. Okay. And then I'll loosen the screws on the other side. Okay, for putting this together, what I decided to do is I'm just going to, I'm not going to uh, screw the dampener into the, um, into the stepper directly. I'm going to basically use these screws, uh, these M312 screws, and that way I just put the whole assembly in. So these will go all the way through and hold everything together. That way I have four total screws holding this back on the printer. Okay, so I'm going to put this back on the printer. I want to make sure that the cord for the um, for the stepper motor is pointed down. Okay, so I have one screw in, and let's get the other screws in. So I'm just again using screws and washers here. I'm sorry, I'm not using M312s, I'm using M310s. I'll be sure to put in the description which screws I'm using. Okay. So I get this in, I'll put everything back together again. My goal here is to use vibrations, and I, I should be coming out with another video here shortly a showing vibrations. Now I think for two of these screws I am going to have to do 12s. Let's see if this one goes in right. Loosen all these a little bit so I can get that last one in. There we go. I suspect, I'm hoping that these reduce vibrations, but I'm not holding my breath. Everything I've done so far to reduce vibrations has not had any effect. That's sort of disappointing. That appears to be in there really good. So let's go ahead and put this back on. Thank you. 
So that's in. Let's go ahead and tighten these other screws. Okay, so tighten the other side here. So let's get this one, put this one in. Okay, so let's get the other side. Okay, it's so now I'm working on side I'm gonna slip this in Make sure this is in tight it's okay Good. Now I need to get the other end. Oops. Make sure I have the right bit in there. That feels good. And I'm just going to plug the wire motor back in. My next step is I'm going to rotate the printer and then work on the X motor. I have this little cage here on top. And so I'm going to go ahead and remove that as my first step. I'm wondering if I'm going to have problems with this because this doesn't look like I can move this piece. Oh, let's give it a shot anyway. And let's just look at my screws here. See if I have anything that might match them in length. Okay, I've tried a couple different screw lengths and nothing here wants to work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use these. I'm only going to secure this with two screws. I'm going to put these two screws in here. And then I'll use my longer screws. Hold in the other ones. That should be all right. Okay, so I have my two screws in here, and then I'll use my longer screws to hold in the other two screws here to hold that in. Switch back over the printer. Okay. So again, I'm positioning this right here. Get the belt over. Over. And let's see if this will bite. Get rid of the washer. I don't need that. It appears to actually be biting in, so that's good. Side. Of course, that doesn't appear to be going. But it might help to have the right. Okay, so I have this screwed in. It appears to be nice and tight. Go ahead and plug this back in. Make sure my wires are connected up. There's a little bit of play there, but I think that's okay. Okay, so that's me installing dampeners on my Ender 5 Plus. This is Mike from Minimal 3DB. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for your time. Have a good day.